What's up guys, Tao here. For the past few years, M.2 SSDs has become more and more popular and the cost per gig has decreased. Now, the M.2 slots on the motherboard ranges from one port to up to three ports on the Ryzen motherboard, but different manufacturers have different a way of managing the bandwidth between the processor and a chipset. Now today, let's use one of the MSI gaming motherboard just to explain how the M.2 slots are managed between the CPU and the chipset. Um, hopefully by end of this video, uh, we will have a clear idea on how the M.2 slots are managed uh, on the motherboard. Um, that's only if you have a motherboard that has the M.2 slots on it. So let's dive right in. Before we move on, I just want to make one thing very clear that the motherboard we're going to talk about is for this particular motherboard only. So the different motherboard, uh, different manufacturer may have different layout uh, between the M.2 slots and the, the processor and the chipset. The way they manage the, the bandwidth may be different. So please consult your manual if you're not sure. And uh, this just example. Okay, the motherboard we are going to talk about is the MSI Mac B550 Tomahawk. Uh, in my opinion, uh, this actually is an affordable mid-range gaming motherboard that supports the PCIe uh, Gen 4 uh, for the M.2 slot. I think it's really, really nice. Uh, it supports the AM4 socket. Now, one of the things I quite like about um, what MS MSI is doing that um, on the manual there is a, a block diagram or the motherboard diagram and just to explain what is controlling what so whose responsibility is controlling what i think this is a really really good idea uh, for the user to understand better um, of how the motherboard control everything i think um, all the manufacturers should be doing this but i'm saying that the gig might also have a diagram for the new lineup i think is also a very very good idea now for this um, particular motherboard, you can see here, now the processor have direct access to one of the M.2 slot and the other one M.2 slot here is controlled by the CPH, uh, sorry, PCH, <laughs> Platform Control Hub, uh, which is the B550 uh, chipset. Now bear in mind a different motherboard even within the uh, MSI range, the X series motherboard may be different like X570, it might be different so check your manual if you're not sure and if you encounter a conflict but this particular one one's controlled by pch one's controlled by the processor now this is give you a general idea how uh, the how the motherboard controlling the different the bandwidth now the this is the overview of the board uh, let me just do this this is the overview of the board so there are two m dot slots uh, one direct below the processor, M2 underscore 1, and the other one is near the bottom, the, uh, the motherboard, M2 underscore 2. Now, the first M.2 slot support PCI Express, here we go, support the PCIe M.2, and also support SATA M.2. So, which means it doesn't matter what you plug into the first one, it will work regardless. Now, the second one is where things get tricky. If you use the, or if you plug the M.2 to the SSD to the second slot, which is this one, so the PCI Express lane, there are two of them, the second lane and third lane will not be available. So according to this, this table here, if you plug a PCI Express um, full speed, M.2 SSD to the M.2 underscore 2, which is the second slot. So the second PCI Express lane and the third PCI Express lane will not function according to this table. So which means if you do want to use any other PCI Express devices and also use both M.2 slot at the same time, you may encounter an issue. However, if you just use one of the M.2 slot, which is the first one, um, you have no issues whatsoever because that is not in use. Now, if you're not using the second one, here is, according to this table, 
Now, if you use a PCIe the tooling, so which is on the third one, because the this uh, this lane this is the third PCI Express slot. If you use a two-speed device and all of the PCI Express lane or slots, it will work. However, if you use the PCIe 4, which is 4-speed, if you plug a device which is support 4-speed onto this particular PCI Express slot, now the second PCI Express slot will not function. Now the reason I believe because this particular chipset or the, this PCH can only manage so many different lanes so if you use all of them it may not able to um, manage all the lanes at, at the same time so that will exceed the ability to manage all those lanes um, but then again, bear in mind um, different uh, many, different motherboards uh, within MSI they have different um, management. So this just for this particular one, right? I hope everything actually makes sense. So in a nutshell, if you use both M.2 SSDs, so be careful with the the second and the third PCIe slot. So it will not be functional. You can only use the fourth one. Now if you just use one of the M.2 slots, which is close to the processor, uh, you shouldn't have any problems at all. However, the second PCI Exp Express slot, it will not be available. If you, that's only if you use a four speed device on the third PCIe slot. So it looks like it's quite complicated, but you know, if you get your head around it, so this is quite clear so to understand. And most people, they don't really use all of the PCIe slots, but if you do, for example, you use a sound card, a sound card support a um, one speed, PCI times one speed, so you'll be fine. So all the PCI slots will function. But if you, let's say you plug a PCIe four speed onto the third um, slot, so you cannot use this, you cannot use this M.2 slot at all. You can only use one of them. So you need to weigh up which is more important, is the storage is more important, or the PCI Express lane uh, slots are important. Now, interestingly, uh, this particular motherboard doesn't really mention about these SATA ports. Um, this sound lo looks like um, looks like there's no conflicts between the SATA ports and M.2 uh, slots. So, which is good news. Unlike the Gigabyte motherboards, a lot of them uh, they share the same um, bandwidth. So, if you use the SATA, the M.2 slot will be affected. So. Yeah, uh, hopefully this makes sense and hopefully this actually uh, make the uh, uh, motherboard a little bit easier to understand in terms of M.2 and the PCI Express. So, yeah. Alright guys, that's been it and hopefully this video helped you guys just to understand your motherboard a little bit better, especially the M.2 slot and the PCI Express lane and the processor and the chipset, everything combined together. Um, now bear in mind a different manufacturer have different way of ranging them, a different way of managing them. For example, ASUS and Gigabyte and ASRock, they may have different way of managing their motherboard, the managing the bandwidth. Now even the MSI range, um, the Intel chipset may be different from the AMD chipset. So if you're not sure, please read your manual. I understand that nowadays not many people bother to read the manual anymore. Um, I think the manufacturer can make it a bit more interesting to read, maybe more pictures and more diagram. It just makes me more interesting. Um, that's my opinion. So yeah, so that's been it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So see you guys in the next video.